Hi, <clears throat> I'm Lori Conradi, and welcome to 5-Minute Bible Study. Our topic for today is Praise Him. And our first reading of the day is going to come from Psalms. It's in Psalm 22, verses 3 through 5. But thou art holy, O thou that inhabits the praises of Israel. Our fathers trusted in thee, they trusted, and thou didst deliver them. They cried unto thee, and the were delivered. They trusted in thee, and were not confounded. Yeah. And our second reading this morning comes from Acts, uh, chapter 16, verses 23 to 34. And this is regarding Paul and Silas. And when they had laid many stripes upon them, they cast them into prison, charging the jailer to keep them safely who, having received such a charge, thrust them into the inner prison and made their feet fast in the stocks. And at midnight, Paul and Silas prayed and sang praises unto God, and the prisoners heard them. And suddenly there was a great earthquake, so that the foundations of the prison were shaken, and immediately all the doors were opened and everyone's bands were loosened. And the keeper of the prison, awakening out of his sleep and seeing the prison doors open, he drew out his sword and would have killed himself, supposing that the prisoners had fled. But Paul cried with a loud voice, saying, Do thyself no harm, for we are all here. Then he called for a light and sprang in and came trembling and fell down before Paul and Silas and brought them out and said, Sirs, what must I do to be saved? And they said, Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, and thou shalt be saved, and thy house. And they spake unto him the word of the Lord, and to all that were in their house, his house. And he took them that same hour of the night, and washed their stripes, and were baptized, he and all his, straight away. And when he had brought them into his house, he set meat before him, and rejoiced, believing in God with all his house. Amen. And look how that started. Amen. That started because Paul and Cyrus, with their feet chained with stocks, you know, big thick metal anklets with chains on it, they were singing in the middle of the night. They were singing praises to God. They were praising Him, and something happened. God came on the scene. We read in Psalms 22 just now that the Lord inhabits the praises of His people. Well, that word inhabits is from the Hebrew word yashav, which means to dwell or remain or abide. So we could say that the Lord it dwells, remains, and abides in the praises of his people. So praising brings God on the scene. Look at Paul and Silas. So there they were praising the Lord and God's power came on the scene and there was an earthquake and everybody's bonds were loosed. Everybody, the whole prison, amen? That's pretty exciting. And what happened to the jailer? He'd been listening. He had been listening to Paul and Silas praying and praising and probably maybe ministering to the other uh, prisoners that were there because the first question out of his mouth was, how am I going to be saved? Save me, amen? Um, a number of years ago, I was, I was working for the health department and I was also uh, volunteering uh, teaching at a uh, medium security prison with a team of uh, three other great moms. Um, and the reason the Lord sent us there was because there were so many young people, uh, you know, young men, uh, some of them weren't even 18 yet uh, in this uh, prison. And so we went and we brought the gospel to them. And uh, at this Christmas time, though, I have to be honest, I was really busy. I was uh, shopping and uh, doing my Christmas cards. Uh, I, and my prayer time had shrunk because I was uh, doing some other things uh, with music and so on. So I, I really wasn't up to my normal, you know, warrior prayer time and uh, scripture reading. I was um, a little laggard at that time. <clears throat> and as I was, I came back to the office and I was in um, this main office where we had a big desk and the nurses would all sit. And I came under a tremendous attack from the enemy. And I mean a tremendous attack. I mean, I just, I, I, I actually put my head down on the desk. It was such a, a feeling of oppression. 
And I, I, I then cry out to the Lord, Lord, help me, help me, because I could feel I was under attack. Um, and I heard the Lord speak very, you know, in his voice that comes so tiny and small, but it's there. He said, praise me. And I'm like, but Lord, you don't understand. I'm having some problems here. I need some help. And, and the Lord said, just so gently, the Holy Spirit spoke and said, praise me. And so I'm like, all right. And so I'm like, praise you, Lord. Praise you, Lord. Praise you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. I praise you, Father God. I give you glory. And then all of a sudden, the Holy Spirit kicked in, and I was like, praise you, Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And I just began to glorify the Lord. I stood up. I started walking back and forth in the office, worshiping and praising him and glorifying him. And just like that, that attack was broken. Absolutely broken. So I learned the power of praising God, just the way Paul and Silas learned about the power of praises you know god taught that to me too so when you're feeling well number one you know at christmas time is the time we need to not ramp down in our study and prayer time but to ramp up um but that if you fall in that situation where you are feeling you're under attack and maybe you haven't been doing what you you normally do in your in your prayer time and your reading time you know, just begin to praise the Lord. Don't don't take it. Don't lay down and, and let the devil beat you up. Begin to praise the Lord. Paul and Silas could have just felt very depressed. They could have hung their heads and just thought, well, God's just abandoned us. And what can we do now? But they had something to do. And they began to praise and to glorify the Lord. And God came on the scene amazingly great. Amen? Well, I'm hoping you're going to have a wonderful day today. And remember that. Jesus is Lord.